good morning students let us see the transform analysis of LTI system transfer function and the impulse response and uh, uh, impulse response let now let us take a system whose impulse response is h of n input is x of n and output is y of n so output y of n is given as x of n convoluted with h of n let us take this equ equation one now applying z transform to the equation one we get y of z in z y of n in z transform is y of z is equal to x of n z transform is x of z and convolution in time domain will become multiplication frequency domain h of n z transform will be h of z let us take this equation two where h of h, x of z is the z transform of the input signal and y of z is the z transform of the output signal and h of z is the impulse uh, z transform of the impulse response h of n now rearranging the terms in equation 2 we get h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z where here y of z is nothing but also called as a system function or trans transfer function now let us do some problems on this one a causal system has input x of n and output y of n find the impulse response of the system if x of n and y of n is given to you now solution let us do given x of n is equal to delta n plus 1 by 4 delta n minus 1 minus 1 by 8 delta n minus 2 let us take this as equation 1 applying z transform to this one before to that we'll see what is the z transform from the impulse response z transforms of impulse response is one why that z transform of delta n minus k shifted version of this impulse so you will get z raised to minus k therefore x of x of n z transform is x of z is equal to delta n to z transform is 1 1 by 4 is a constant we'll write as it is shifted version of this one in place of k z raised to minus k in place of k you have 1 z, therefore it is z raised to minus 1 minus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2 this is take, will this will take as equation 2 now y of n is equal to is given as y delta n minus 3 by 4 delta n minus n minus 1 let us take this as equation 3 applying z transform of equation 2 we get y of z is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 1. Let us take this as equation 4. Now, the transfer function is given by y of z, x h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z. So, divide here x of z is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 this expression three, equation 4 divided by equation 2. Now, factorizing this, this denominator and h of z is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 z inverse divided by factors we are writing then taking the partial fractions of the above equation we get h of z is equal to minus 2 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse plus 5 by 3 1 minus minus of minus that is nothing but plus 1 by 2 z inverse so it is given that the system is causal therefore h of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0 taking inverse z transform of this equation we get h of n is equal to minus 2 by 3 1 by 4 whole raised to n u of n plus 5 by 3 minus 1 by 2 whole raised to n u of n this is using the formula a raised to n u of n if you compare this equation with minus 2 by 3 is constant we have taken here 1 if you take out common here you will get 1 1 and a in place of a you have 1 by 4 and z, z inverse therefore inverse z transform is a raised to n a raised to n is nothing but 1 by 4 raised to n u of n plus 5 by 3 minus 1 by 2 whole raised to n u of n now taking out u of n common from this expression you get minus 2 by 3 1 by 4 whole raised to n plus 5 by 3 into minus 1 by 2 whole raised to n into u of n this is the impulse response of the given system now let us do a similar problem one more problem on this one a causal discrete lti system has input x of n given by this one then the output is y of n 1 by 3 whole raised to n u of n determine the impulse response h of n and the system function h of z of the system that satisfies this condition let us take given x of n is equal to 1 by 2 whole raised to n u of n this is given here yeah, this is given minus 1 by 4 
minus 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 whole raised to n minus 1 u of n. Let us take this equation 1. Now, applying z transform, we will use this formula y raised to n u of n. So, a raised to n, if you see here, a raised to n u of n, it is nothing but 1 by 1 minus a into z. So, 1 divided by 1 by z. 1 by 2 is z inverse minus 1 by 4 is constant. We will take here z raised to minus 1 because shifted version is equal to nothing but x of z is nothing but this one. And shifted version is minus 1. So, z is z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse. Now, x of z is equal to, we'll since for these two terms, 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse, that is nothing but denominator is common. Therefore, or taking LCM, 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse. Let us take this as equation 2. Now, y of n is given as 1 by 3 whole raised to n u of n. So, applying z transform to this equation, y of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse. Now, now y of h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z. That is nothing but this equation expression divided by this one. equation 4 divided by equation 2. Now, y of z, h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z is equal to the divide this two and taking here this denominator will come up and these two terms will be in the term. Now taking partial fractions of this equation h of z is equal to minus 2 by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse plus 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse. Let us take this as equation one, 6. Now taking the inverse transform of this one this is of the form again z z into a raised to n u of n 1 divided 1 by. So this this the expression is of this form we have to write the inverse direct transform of this one therefore minus 2 is constant we will write here 1 by 3 whole raised to n u of n plus 3 into 1 by 4 whole raised to n into u of n taking u of n common we get minus 2 into 1 by 3 whole raised to n plus 3 into 1 by 4 whole raised to n u of n as the impulse response of the given system whose input and output expressions are given now let us do another problem 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 a system has impulse response h of n here if you observe in the pre previous problems x of n and h of n, input and output are given in this problem here h of n is given to you impulse response is given to you and they you are in and you have to determine impulse response is given to you and you have to determine the input of the system also output is given output y of n is given now solve this problem given y of n is equal to 1 by 3 u of n if you observe here it is only simple 1 by 3 it is not 1 by 3 whole raised to n it is only 1 by 3 don't get confused when with this term if you get confused the entire thing whatever the problem you do it will be it will become wrong so 1 by 3 into u of n plus 2 by 3 into minus 1 by 2 whole raised to n you often now let us take this equation one applying the z transform to this equation we get y of z is equal to 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus z inverse because here you don't have any term this is a constant we'll write as it is u of n z transform is 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse for writing plus 2 by 3 is constant i'll write as it is now the second formula which is nothing but a raised to n u of n here it is 1 by 1 minus a into z inverse. a is nothing but here minus 1 by 2 minus of minus. So here 1 minus and this minus therefore minus of minus it will become plus 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse. So now cross multiplying or taking LCM and simplifying this expression we get 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse whole divided by 1 minus z inverse into 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse. Now h now h of z which is nothing but here h of z is given by here h of n h of n is given by 1 by 2 whole raised to n u of n now taking the uh, applying z transform to this one h of n z transform is x of z h of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 whole raised to whole raised z raised to minus 1 now 
h of x we know that h of z is y y of z divided by h of z but the here h of z is given to you and y of z is given to you or h of n is given to you or y of n is known you have to find x of z so rearranging the terms this x of z will come here h of z will come to the denominator h of z is equal to y of z divided by h of z therefore here writing these two expressions here y of z and here y of z expression and also y of z expression also h of z expression here and simplifying it we get x of z is equal to this term will come into the numerator and here one more term is there therefore whole square divided by see multiply this one and writing this one this expression has this one now if you see the power of the numerator and also the denominator is same here therefore we can directly take the partial fractions divide the numerator numerator by denominator so we get the co here coefficient plus a reminder divided by divisor therefore we are writing here this is the reminder with this is the reminder we got plus quotient this is a quotient plus reminder by divisor so we'll writing this one and taking partial fractions of this expression it is 1 by 6 1 minus z inverse plus 4 by 3 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse now taking the inverse z transform of this one x of z inverse z transform as x of n is equal to 1 by 2 or here 1 by 2 is constant 1 here 1 inverse z transform is nothing but delta n because delta z delta and z transform is 1 therefore inverse z transform is delta n plus 1 by 6 is constant and 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse is nothing but u of n inverse z transform 4 by 3 is constant we'll take as it is here and here it is minus 1 by 2 whole raised to n u of n this is the input expression or input signal of the given impulse response and the output signal